Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Angry South Florida families have been left floored by new school security measures, which saw scores of students fail to start their first day back on time. Broward County have laid down the law for the 2024-25 academic year by installing metal detectors in 38 high schools. 3R Channel spoke to two families who laid bare the problems encountered by their kids with the new safety guidelines in place credit, NBC Miami. But the plans, which have been brought in to ramp up safety for thousands of students, started disastrously. Our channel spoke to two families with children at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, scene of one of the worst shootings in United States history in 2018 when 17 people were gunned down by deranged former pupil Nicholas Cruz. The parents, who asked not be named, described chaotic scenes which saw some pupils queue outside for over 90 minutes in the sweltering sun. Everyone expected difficulties on the first day, the metal detectors just added to your normal first day chaos, said one parent. It wasn't a positive experience. The woman's son was texting her and sending photos as the summer holidays came to an end with an almighty thud. When one of the pictures had the principal in, I was at least comforted that those in charge knew exactly what the problems were, she added. After being dropped off by the school bus, the woman's son, who is a freshman, was forced to wait over 90 minutes before finally reaching his new classroom for the first period. The class was only full 20 minutes before the end, he said. With an insufficient amount of metal detectors tasked with scanning over 3,000 students, progress was predictably slow. It was hampered further by students being asked to take any binders with metal rings out of their bags. Teachers have floated the idea of buying ones entirely made of plastic to avoid complications moving forward. No one can say they weren't warned. We had a ridiculous amount of calls from the school over the weekend with information about what was happening, but the situation was frustrating for everyone involved. They have to learn from this, continued the mom. I wasn't happy that he wasn't in school in time. But I expected it. Another mother, who lives only 10 minutes from Stoneman Douglas, which was welcoming students for the first time since the demolition of the building where sick crews murdered 17 innocent souls, was forced to take her daughter early to ensure making the 7.40 a.m. start time. She left at 6.55 a.m., and although at that time, the queues weren't as long, lessons were disrupted as her classmates trickled in way after the start of the first period. She said some kids waited for over two hours, said the second mom who spoke to our channel. She claims her daughter said an announcement was made at around 9 a.m. that there were no more lines outside. She heard at that point they had given up and let everyone in, the woman added. Local message boards were packed full of angry parents, the kids were probably happy they didn't have to go to class, but the mom urged everyone to stay calm. She saw no point in blasting under-pressure school officials, and hopes the issues will be ironed out. Parents have been told for months about the plans and warned about possible delays outside school. Please remember that the metal detector process is new and we do anticipate delays getting students into school in the morning. We thank you in advance for your patience and support. Stoneman Douglas families were told in numerous emails. It's a fast and simple process that serves as an added layer of protection for our school. People are too quick to complain, said one of the moms. They are trying to keep everyone safe. You can't have it both ways. Alyssa Miriam Alhadef, 14, Martin Duque Anguiano, 14, Nicholas Paul Dwarit, 17, Aaron Lewis Fays, 37, Christopher Brent Hickson, 49, Luke Thomas Hoyer, 15, Gina Rose Montalto, 14, Elena Joanne Petty, 14, Helena Fraser Ramsey, 17, Alexander Logan Schachter, 14, Carmen Marie Skentrup, 16, Scott J. Beigel, 35, Jamie Taylor Gutenberg, 14, Cara Marie Lochran, 14, Joaquin Oliver, 17, Meadow Jade Pollock, 18, Peter Wang, 15, John Sullivan, a spokesman for Broward Schools, apologized and promised there wouldn't be a repeat of the chaotic scenes being played out in a number of schools. We apologized to at Broward Schools high school students and family.